The Anchorage Health Department says all of the Second Avenue camp will be abated on Friday. This, it says, follows a reposting of abatement notices on Tuesday. But while the municipality of Anchorage is again citing public health and safety concerns, many of the people living here and experiencing homelessness are more worried about not having a place to go. We'll let campers know that they do have an additional 72 hours. Um, we'll offer shelter space. We did have shelter space last night to offer um, and just really try and connect people with resources before this green space is closed down. Alexis Johnson, Anchorage's housing and homeless coordinator, says the city is reposting signs because of a need to add clarifying language. But a little extra time isn't eliminating concern. I'm worried for everybody, for all of us out here, because we've got nowhere to go. James Roberts, who has been homeless and living at the camp with his daughter for a year, says he is worried for everyone living there. At the same time, Johnson says the camp is still growing, with there being roughly 35 people living in the immediate area right now. She again pointed to health and safety concerns. If you look back, there's those buckets on the side of the road right there, um, and those are filled with human biohazard waste. Roberts isn't bothered by the buckets he says are sealed and labeled. He is concerned about getting kicked out. There's nothing wrong with somebody using a bucket as long as they put a lid on it and let it, let it be known what it is. I mean, think about it. Half of Alaska uses a bucket. Kathy Hebert, an Anchorage resident who's lived for decades at the top of a hill over part of the green space in the area, has her own worries. Oh, I live right at the top of that hill, and I'm afraid if fire's going to get out of control, that's my biggest fear is losing the house that I live in. From a safety standpoint, she says she's happy to see the camp being abated soon. Johnson believes there's a disconnect between summer months and shelter for those experiencing homelessness. Whether that's historical trauma with the individual or, you know, freedom, no authority, uh, there's lots of reasons people want to be outside. And some living at the camp are not interested in living in a shelter. Wouldn't touch out with a 10 foot pole. But it's our duty to offer them the shelter space and to make sure that our public spaces are free and clear. While we expect the official abatement to take place on Friday afternoon, we could see many people packing up today as they believed they would be pushed out on Tuesday afternoon. Many of those people were relieved to hear that they have a little bit more time to leave the camp. Lex Yelverton, Alaska's news source.